Today, I wanna to share with you the one show that I think you can pull almost any accent from, and it's not Game of Thrones. Hi, my name is Jesse Brightly, a D&D newbie who loves helping others who are new to the Dungeons and Dragons world, focus more on fun and a little less on the mechanics. Today, we are tapping into the stereotypical and kind of cartoony, but on point accents from a late 80s, early 90s cartoon that I grew up with, and they revamp now, but we're not talking about that version. We're talking about the OG DuckTales. And I know what you're thinking, like, why would I watch that to pull accents? That show was a kid's show. But I believe that those accents are very easy to replicate. And plus it's DuckTales, so it's super awesome and who couldn't use a bit of nostalgia. So if you watch DuckTales, I'm gonna tell you some characters and some accents that you can pull. So first you've got Scrooge McDuck. And in him you have a, I believe it's supposed to be Scottish accent. So there you can learn how to replicate a little bit of the stereotypical Scottish accent and it's very good to help you with like rolling your R's and getting in that like angry duck Scottish accent. Then you've got Launchpad who's kind of like that bro, brawny, kind of dim-witted but very firm and confident in his verbal expressions. And you can replicate that for, I don't know, maybe like a tanky sort of orc. And that's a good, it's not necessarily an accent, but it's a style and a tone and a cadence that you can replicate. Then you've got Scrooge's butler, Duckworth. And that's sort of a mild British accent. And so I know a lot of people, I personally go straight to like the Cockney British accent where it's very, oi, what are you doing with that thing? But if you follow with Duckworth and his accent, that's more of the refined, upper-class British accent. So, I mean, it makes sense to replicate a butler duck. Where am I going with this video? <laughs> In Mrs. Beakley, you've got the sort of motherly, matronly barmaid. And she's older, and she's got that very stylistic, older, kind of nanny tone to her voice. And you can use that for the barmaid or for the innkeep, or if you are an older character, perhaps like a cleric who's very concerned about everyone, I think she would be a perfect person to use as an example. When you're DMing, it can be a little bit difficult to come up with the voices of an entire village. So if you've got NPCs that you're trying to keep track of and then you just have um, small characters that come in and out of the scene. Um, you can use from DuckTales, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby as your village children examples. So that's four different little mini accents to use as kids because it's not just talking like a baby or talking high pitch. They all have kind of their own little intonations and that is something you can use. And now for my two favorite examples, the bad guys. So you've got the Beagle Boys who are like the city slicker shysters. And these could be anyone if you're a rogue as a character or if you have NPC shysty city dwellers. I think that they would be perfect examples and they're kind of comical and they're stereotypical and they're ridiculous, which why not add some of that to your table? I also love and personally used Magica Dispel for my main character, Catnip. And she's got this, I believe it's probably trying to be Russian, stereotypical, low, gravelly, and heavy accent. And I loved it as a kid. And I thought she was so exotic and so scary. And so that's why I replicated her voice. And I brought it into my current character. So 
I think that the bad guys are kind of the more fun ones to try to replicate. So if you want to be a city slicker shyster, check out the Beagle Boys. If you want to have sort of that Russian um, accent to your voice in whatever you like roll your R's or um, just kind of break your speech up differently, definitely check out Magica Dispel. I am now streaming Neverwinter live on Twitch TV under Thundervex84. I'll leave a link in the notes below, so be sure to check that out. Again, it's Neverwinter Wednesdays, live at 7 p.m. Eastern Time under Thundervex84. And there are my suggestions from the one show I think you can watch to get accents for your D&D campaign or character. I would love to know what you think. Definitely comment below. If you are looking for more tips and tricks for your D&D character, check out this video here. And definitely subscribe over here. I'd love for you to get notified every time I drop a new D&D video every Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic session this week, and cheers to adventuring.